Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to find the relationship between the slope of a straight line and the coordinates of any two points given on it. It's really very easy, so let's do it now. So in this coordinate plane, this is a straight line which is making angle theta with x-axis and we have taken two points on it A and B and let's say the coordinates of A are x1, y1 and coordinates of B are x2, y2. Now this line is making angle theta with x-axis so we know that the slope of a line which makes an angle theta with x-axis is tan theta. So all we have to do is find the value of tangent theta. Now tangent theta is a trigonometric ratio and to find the value of a trigonometric ratio we need a right angle triangle. So all we have to do is form a right angle triangle over here. How do we do that? That's very easy. First of all, let's draw a perpendicular say AD on X axis and another perpendicular say BE on uh, X axis and then let's draw one more perpendicular say AC on this line so ACB is a right angle triangle so we will use this triangle this angle will also be equal to theta why I will tell you so using this triangle we have to find the value of tan theta and that we will get in terms of x1 y1 and x2 y2 and that's it now why this angle is also theta see this is right angle this is right angle this is right angle so this is also right angle right so this means DECA is a rectangle and we know that the opposite sides of rectangle are always parallel and equal. So let's first focus on the parallel part. So AC is parallel to DE means AC is parallel to OE and we know that for two parallel lines and if this is a transversal then the corresponding angles are always equal. So these two lines are parallel, so red line is transversal, so these two corresponding angles will be equal. So this angle is theta. First thing. Second, AD will be equal to CE and uh, AC will be equal to DE because this is a rectangle. So we will use all these to find out the value of tangent theta. So let's take this right angle triangle in right angled triangle ACB. So tan theta will be perpendicular over base and perpendicular is BC and base is AC. Now how much is BC? So BC is BE minus CE. So this is BE minus CE and how much is AC? Now AC is equal to DE. So let's first of all write it as BC over DE, right? Now how much is DE? So if we subtract OD from OE, so if we subtract OD from OE, we will get DE. So we can write it as OE minus OD. So how much is BE? So BE is the Y coordinate of this point, which is Y2 minus CE. Now CE is equal to AD because this is a rectangle and AD is y1 because the y coordinate of this point is y1 so this length is y1 so eventually this is also y1 so it means y2 minus y1 divided by oe oe is x coordinate of this point so this is x2 and od the x coordinate of this point a which is x1 so this will be equal to x2 minus x1 so that's it. This is tan theta. So tan theta is what? The difference of the y coordinates over the difference of the x coordinates of the two points. You can also write it like this. Tan theta is equal to y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So this is also fine. You can also write it as m. So this is a standard symbol that we use for tan theta, right? for the slope of a line. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 or x2 minus x1. So this is a very simple, easy relationship between the slope of a line 
and the coordinates of the two points given on a straight line. So if you really like this tutorial, then please share it with your friends and your classmates. Thanks for watching.